Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be going over the details of the latest global data download from this morning to give you guys a quick preview of the upcoming global celebration. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. He's very close to 3,000 followers, so let's get him there as uh, quickly as possible. Okay, so with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the promo movie for the new uh, Dokkan Fest in Yugoku. I'm going to just pause my music here and enjoy, guys. Your body is mine now! Okay, so there you go. Great looking animations, in my opinion. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but Ginyu has always been one of my favorite side characters from Dragon Ball Z. So I'm actually uh, pretty excited for this release. And let's turn the music back on so we can move on to the other assets. So we have, of course, the AGL Captain Ginyu assets. This is the SSR, there is the TUR, and then there is the Ginyu Goku after you use the active skill. And uh, from there, we have two side units. The first one is the Int, Jace, and Birder. There's the SSR and TUR. And we also have the STR, Raccoon, and Guldo. So there's the SSR, and there is the TUR. So essentially it's Captain Ginyu as the main Dokkan Fest banner unit and then he has two side units which encompasses the uh, entire Ginyu force, right? And from there we have the Dokkan Awakening medal for uh, Captain Ginyu along with the assets for his uh, new Dokkan event of course. And we also have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for two of the uh, members of the free-to-play team Bardock. More will be released over the coming weeks, but right now we're starting with the Borgos and also the Fasha. So when the celebration starts in about, uh, I think, 14 hours from now, we'll get the EZA medals or the stages for these two units, and then obviously the stages for Tora and Bardock and Shugesh will uh, come out later. And uh, from there, we have another free-to-play Extreme Z Awakening for the Fizz. LR Ginyu Force, and we'll go over the details for all three of these units in a second. And uh, after that, we got some tickets. So here is a pretty exciting one for most people, which is the seventh anniversary uh, general banner ticket, which we'll be uh, able to get starting, I think, later this week or early next week, because they're trying to hype us up for the anniversary, which is right around the corner, right? So. Um, yeah, we'll be able to start collecting these very, very soon. And uh, we also have this Dokkan Festival uh, ticket, which will be available for purchase to use on the uh, Ginyu Goku banner. So, two new tickets. And last but not least, just some missions here, which Proton recently started posting. So, uh, let's see what we have here. We got some training missions, we got some leveling super attack missions, some equipping skill orbs, uh, clearing Dokkan events, consuming stamina, and so on and so forth, some pretty standard stuff. And uh, also some missions for clearing the Extreme Z area for Ginyu Force Saga uh, X number of times, clearing the Extreme Z area for Team Bardock X number of times, clear a stage without receiving any damage 5 to 15 times, and uh, yeah, just your standard missions, nothing too special here, but a lot of missions. Obviously some dragon stones available here, which is always nice. And uh, there you have it guys, that is gonna do it for today's data download breakdown. Of course, like I said, before we get out of here, I will be going over the EZA details for the LR Ginyu Force, and also the Fasha and Borgos. So if you guys wanna find out exactly what they do, then uh, definitely stick around. So 
pop it over to the Dokkan wiki here. Let's start with the LR first. Before the Extremes the Awakening, these guys really were not very good. I mean, to be fair, they're very outdated, they're very old, so it makes sense. Theater skill, all types, HP, attack, and defense, plus 77%, no key at all. And then 12 key super attack, colossal damage, 18 key super, mega colossal damage, allies defense, plus 30% for one turn. And passive is key plus 3, and attack plus 7,777 for all allies. And that's it. With the EZA, their new leader skill is all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, which puts them in line with some of the best rainbow leaders in the game, like the uh, Int Goku and the Fizz Kid Gohan, right? Uh, 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. An 18k super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy, all allies, attack and defense, plus 30% for one turn. And then passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 77%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per Ginyu Force category ally on the team up to 50%. All allies key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30% randomly changes key spheres of a certain type phase excluded to rainbow key spheres when there is another Ginyu Force category ally attacking in the same turn. So uh, obviously you can tell that this is going to be a fairly limited unit as far as which teams you can use them on. Uh, they are almost exclusively going to be on the Ginyu Force team because if you don't have them there then they're going to be missing a pretty big chunk of their passive. Although they're still usable outside of Ginyu Force as a pretty solid support, but you know, you do want to run them on a Ginyu Force team as much as you can, and uh, on that team, they're really, really good. Um, in fact, I feel like this is a... I don't know if underrated is the right word, but nobody really talks about this EZA, right? Like, I honestly forgot about it too before the data download dropped, so they're definitely very slept on in my opinion and they deserve more attention because on the Ginyu Force team this is a great way to play LR EZA, right? So that is the Fizz LR Ginyu Force and now pop it over to the uh, AGL Borgos before the EZA. Leader skill was low class warrior, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and passive attack and defense plus 90% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when facing only one enemy and launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. Post EZA, leader skill becomes low class warrior category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or AGL type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage with a medium chance, or rather a high chance, of stunning the enemy. Passive attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing only one enemy, launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies, high chance of performing a critical hit when your team has another Team Bardock category ally attacking in the same turn. And uh, moving on to the Int Fasha now, before the EZA, leader skill is low class warrior, category key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive defense plus 90%, a high chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, and uh, oh, when there is an ally whose name includes Bardock, team Bardock excluded on the team. With the EZA, leader skill becomes low class warrior category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 150%, high chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's an ally whose name includes Bardock, Team Bardock excluded on the team, all allies key plus 3, and Team Bardock category allies attack and defense plus 30% within the same turn after evading 
and attack. So there you have it guys, those are the EZA details for the Int Fasha, the AGL Borgos, and also the Fizz LR uh, Ginyu slash Ginyu Force. And that is the latest global data download. Once again, a big, big shout out to my boy, uh, Proton at 10MG. Go follow him if you are not doing so right now because he's really close to 3K and I want to get him there very, very soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.